Hiya folks, Eon here with another knife review. Today I'm bringing you the Finch Knights Buffalo Tooth in Coca-Bola wood. This is an Apex Group Pass Around knife. Let's jump into some basic specs on this. We've got 154 cm blade steel on this knife. We've got a satin flat grind with what I would consider to be a spear point. Some people might call that a drop point, but spear point. This knife is all titanium frame with a frame slash bolster lock. It's got a deep carry clip made out of titanium on it as well. It is not reversible. And obviously you have Coca-Bolo wood inlays with the Finch logo on it. There is two and five eighths inches of fine cutting edge. We have a scale length of four inches. We have a tip to tail length of six and three quarters. The width of this knife is almost exactly a half an inch. And the weight is 4.85 ounces. So let's talk about what I like in my first impressions. I'd always thought looking at this knife in photos and videos, it was pretty interesting looking. But upon holding this knife in my hand for the very first time, this knife is shockingly fun. I mean, really, honestly, it, you can get all four fingers on this knife easily. If you want to choke up here to the jimping that they put on the flipper tab, there's plenty of room for people with really big hands. That's a win. A total win. This thing is rugged. It's comfortable. It EDCs great. You forget even with the, the overall size and ruggedness of this knife, you pretty much forget this thing is in your pocket most of the time. So again, awesome. Solid build quality. Nice clean lines. And honestly, surprisingly good ergos. Really really good solid ergos on this knife the thing edc carries like a dream it takes on most cutting tasks with ease i mean nice big deep bellied blade decent sized spine doesn't have any jimping but again the look of this knife is supposed to be kind of traditional pocket knife on steroids i get that it is a frame lock or frame bolster lock but Man, the thing just fires right out there every time, locks up beautiful, feels fantastic in your hand. Can't say enough about that. Like I said, the ergos on this thing are surprisingly good. The pocket clip is attractive. Whoa, almost took out my camera. <laughs> the pocket clip is attractive and it's perfectly functional. It's got just enough spring in it to work and just enough width to have a decent amount of tension on it. I like what they did, screwed down, beveled it off right here. Only a little bit of the knife sticks out of your pocket. Really all you see is right about there, right where the screws are. So that's about how much right above my thumb is gonna stick out of your pocket. Again, solid design, right? Knife feels good, looks good, awesome. So are there any dislikes or issues I have with the Finch Buffalo Tooth? Basically, no. You know, I'm a fan of jimping. I, it might have been nice to have a few really minor ones here on the blade, but honestly, you get such a good grip on this knife, and you, if you choke up here onto the flipper tab, man, you, the knife just locks right into your hand in both of these positions. So I don't really see you having an issue putting your thumb anywhere on the top of this spine. It's got a tiny, tiny bit of crowning to it or beveling right there on the edges, but it feels really great. So that, I don't really have an issue with that. Uh, before getting this one, I thought that I would go for the jigged titanium scales. And, you know, now that I've had this one and carried this one a little bit, I'm kind of leaning more toward the Coca-Bola wood. There were, it did come with a few little tiny surface scratches on the knife and a couple little surface scratches here in the Coca-Bola wood. But again, this is an Apex Group pass around knife. This knife has been handled and carried by a lot of different people. And it still is in really good shape considering that I was kind of far down on the list by the time I got on board this one. 
I, I would kind of favor the Coca Bola wood, but uh, the Jig Titanium would be interesting too. They also offer it in an ivory type scale finish as well, if that is your thing. So, you know, I'm not sure which one, uh, which scale sir, uh, option I would go for. But this is a ruggedly built knife. And at $195 through Finch, it's not that bad of a price. It's actually, I think, priced very well for, for the, the build quality and fit and finish that's on this particular knife. So what I would say is this. This is a multi-use knife. And you just can't help but like it. If this look is not your look, I understand that. But honestly, this is a traditional looking knife that functions as a modern knife which is really cool. I dig it. Uh, this version, or the full tie one, will make it into my knife collection sometime in 2023. It's just too hard not to like this knife and want to carry a knife like this. It's super cool. You could carry this as a main knife very easily. Some people would look at this as a fifth pocket or a backup knife. That's cool, too. The only other comment I have, since the knife does have a flipper tab that works fantastic and it's got great action, balls closed, but this flipper tab works perfect. There's absolutely no need for a nail nick on both sides of this knife. It's purely ornamental. I don't think anyone... It's going to take a knife this big and be like, yeah, let me let me nail nick this and open it. Like, I just don't see that happening. It's not it's not a, a slip joint. You know, it's not a, a full traditional in that respect. And honestly, the nail nick's not super easy to get your fingernails on on either side. So I feel like that's more to kind of fool you into thinking that this is a traditional knife until you hit the flipper tab and realize it's a modern folder. Again, super cool, very, very likable knife, looks good, great fit and finish, can't say enough about it. Uh, so there you go, there's the Finch Buffalo Tooth, uh, 154 CM tie and Coca Bola wood, $195, regardless of which scale options you go with, the wood, the ivory, or the jig titanium, the knife is going to be the same price. Fantastic little knife. Let me show you a couple of quick size comparisons before I let you go. Here it is next to a Wee Roxy. And here's a knife I think is a good comparison. This is the Tucson TS-138 Dracula. A, a chonky, short, stocky little knife. And I think these two kind of fit into the same category. They're similar in size, but you can see the Finch still has a little bit more meat to it than the Tucson. So there you go, folks. There's the Tucson Buffalo Tooth. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button down there in the corner if you like this video. Stay safe, folks. Stay sharp, and I will see you again soon. Take care.